so that I would be on the ball. And oh, hey, everybody, welcome to Dumb Investing. That guy over there, that's Harry. That guy, that's Lloyd, and I always like to catch him live in the middle of doing something. So that's how it is. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Dumb <laughs> Investing. It's about to get dumb up in here. Let's go ahead and we'll have a little bit of fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. So for tonight's show, uh, we will be reviewing our portfolio. We will be checking out if we're making any money, whether the stock market's helping us or hurting us. Uh, we are then going to do a minorly deep dive on three stocks we already own and decide are we keeping them? Or are we going to sell them and, and reinvest? Where are we going to go? So that's it. Uh, 17 loyal subscribers. Thanks for joining us. Uh, for anybody 18. new, you've 18. Woo! <laughs> Ring, hit the gong do whatever we're supposed to do um for anybody new this is the uh, dumbest investing show on all the youtubes uh sometimes you'll catch us rolling random dice and picking random stocks we we, we do three a night and uh, we do a little bit of research we decide hey let's go blow our retirement money on some stock we don't know anything about so it's kind of <laughs> awesome <laughs> that's how we do it so on to the portfolio let's see how we're doing okay um, I didn't get to see the day because it was like, you know, doing inventory stuff. So I didn't really yeah. pay attention to anything. So I yeah. don't know what happened today. And I was off today. So because it's Canada Day up here in uh, in the good old Canada. So, yeah. Did you yeah. guys already do hot dogs and fireworks and all that? No, fireworks are 1045. Okay. I don't know what time it doesn't get dark here until 1045. Uh, it's, it's eight o'clock. Oh, so you got you got a while. Yeah, there's three hours. There's at least four whiskeys and probably a bottle of wine before that happens. So that now see that we could get into. And by the <laughs> way, if I happen to go dead, we have gnarly storms coming through right now. Oh so yeah. If I, if I lose internet, oh. catch you all on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. We're like we've been so hot here in Canada and I'm sure you guys have seen the news with all of the, you know, BC hitting record high 45 degrees Celsius, which is like 110, 115 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. And things are just like spontaneously combusting. <laughs> it's, it's insane. But typically what happens when, when we have this type of weather is severe, severe thunderstorms. Yeah, that's what we're so getting right it's now. It's just starting to build up right now. They're expecting some thunderstorms to start happening tomorrow. And then uh, probably over the next couple of days, if we get some moisture, then it's just going to snowball. And we'll probably get the, the hail and the storms. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens. We'll see. All right. Over to the portfolio. All right, folks, so what do we have today? Well, our biggest loser today at half a percent. So that's pretty good. Half a percent <laughs> loss is better than, yeah, better than some of the other days that we, we Look uh, how far up the blue bar is. Yeah, so wow. I don't know if you can read it there, Lloyd, but this one, it says Burger I Black. see who it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I did drag over the, the aftermarket just so we can make ourselves feel a little bit better. <laughs> it's, we're up 1.5% one, one in the aftermarket. That is so. great. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. The second one is the uh, KNGS. Um, I really don't remember what these guys do, but they're somewhere, you know, we're kind of trading flat. Uh, <laughs> we reviewed them last night. <laughs> We oh, decided yeah. to okay. keep them. <laughs> okay. Well, our position is 2878, and they closed today at 2876. So, a couple yeah. pennies, no problem. Yep. On the other side for the winners, we got the Industrial Bull. Three time Industrial Bull. It was up 1.81% today. And Lazy Boy. Good thing we didn't. Oh, yeah. Sell Coming off up. Lazy Boy. So, it was up 2% today. It's got to go, it needs a lot more two percenters. Yeah, back to just every day for the next forever. For just, you know, a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> We're not asking too much, are we? <laughs> yeah, right. The overall account today was up $7.28 or point. Oh, yeah. Another green day for dumb investing. We did get a dividend from the IVSG in the amount of I, one, one cent. <laughs> we'll try that not to spend that all in one place yeah. yeah you literally could not anymore i don't think i don't even know can you get penny candies anymore i don't know 
Don't think you no, can. I, I don't think so either. Candy for a penny? Yeah, probably not. In Canada, we don't have pennies anymore. Really? Yeah. Everything is zero or five? Yep. Wow. I bet I bet that saves a lot of money. I can't imagine how much we spend on copper and zinc making pennies. Totally, right? Like, well, yeah. and we need all that copper to go into the batteries because apparently by 2035, every vehicle sold in Canada has to be electric. So, Oh, it's not apparently. That's, that's happening. Yeah, we're going to need lots of copper because that's kind of how batteries work. They, they use a lot of copper. Tesla's for everyone. <laughs> I can hardly wait for Trudeau to send me my free Tesla. Is he driving an electric car right now? Man, he's saving he the world. He doesn't go anywhere. He doesn't leave his house. He doesn't drive. Oh, he doesn't do okay. anything. Okay, that's awesome. We don't talk politics on this channel. No, we try not to because uh, sometimes we'll talk a about digging a hole we'd never get out of. <laughs> man, oh man. I think that would be both horrible. of our governments are ones we don't really support, but hey, that's here nor there. All right, over. <laughs> let's get off politics. No, On no. the overall, at the top of the charts, I don't think much has changed here. We've got our inverse select growth ETF, and we've got the Credit Suisse. ET, uh, yeah, income fund. I can't see the numbers. What are what are the top two? Six six point two percent and 5.74 percent that's not bad for a couple of months worth of work yes yeah by and october dude, bottom, this is going to be so changed. awesome yeah well I, they can't i mean they literally i mean other than bouncing off of zero a couple of times <laughs> Jeez, louise let's hope those mean. that new board gets their act together oh on burger fi that's what you're talking about yeah 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 BurgerFi and Heylang. Heylang Education Group has been yeah, but they're whatever. they're making so much money. That's what I don't so get. much money. Yeah, yeah. I can maybe not tonight. Probably next week because Robinhood's filing uh, filing their IPO, and we're going to probably be talking a little bit about Robinhood. And Robinhood is a competitor to Weeble. So Weeble is this platform that you see up on your screen. If you'd like to use this platform. Follow our link, deposit 100 bucks, get yourself up two free stocks. But Robinhood is kind of one of the uh, the founding um, platforms, I guess you would say, to uh, to buy and sell stocks that were not commission based. So you don't pay a commission on every single trade that you do. Um, so they they are filing. I can't say that word tonight. Filing their I IPO. About it's that much up. more whiskey would solve that. All right. Two, two finger. Oh, yeah. That's how you do it. <laughs> they're filing. <laughs> they're, uh, <laughs> See, it worked. <laughs> yeah, they're IPO. <laughs> and, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how that company gets valued. Um, just because they have a ton of revenue, they don't make a ton of profit. And when you compare them to companies like Hailing or... I mean, for me, Coinbase is going to be a, a direct comparison for me. Right. But are, are they being valued as a disruptor, much like Amazon and Tesla and guys like that, right? Well, that's a good point. Because they don't follow the standard rules. So if they're looking at Robinhood as, hey, here's a disruptor that has come into this, you know, this world, we're not going to judge them on today. Today, we're going to judge today on in 10 years. Right. That's you're you're 100 correct. So they're they're going to pre-value the company for future growth, yeah. which yeah, is what they're going to do for coin or what they've done with Coinbase as well. But anyways, well, we'll a lot of those tech Coinbase companies, like Enphase, is the same way. You know, they're yeah they've got awesome products and stuff. They're just they got they they got to get it out there. You know, they're still developing dealer networks and installers and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's once it's it's mainstream. It's I mean. Their system is freaking awesome, but nobody knows who they are. Nobody knows what they do. Right. Not until right. we all have electric cars and we're all like, wow, you mean I could put that in the battery and put that in my car and do the, and the car will run the house and the battery runs the house. What? I mean, it's awesome. Right. Yeah. It's going to be totally cool. How yeah, right. we're going to power everything. I mean, we've got rolling blackouts now and we're running on a internal combustion engine economy. 
Well, the news guys will come on and say, everybody, please unplug your cars. We need the air conditioning power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. I don't know how that's <laughs> all going to work. And especially 2035 in Canada, I mean, 14 years from now, to develop that entire net, uh, infrastructure to be able to power enough electric vehicles. I mean, so no more. picture that. California is the same. 14 right? years, there will be no gas powered cars sold in Canada. Right. Whoa. California's doing it too, right? Yep. Same time frame, I think. Maybe even 2030? But at least in California, you could go over to Nevada. And I assume there's going to be some huge car dealers right on the border. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you betcha there's going to be. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe in 14 years, life is going to be so awesome with batteries and stuff that we'll look back and everybody will be pointing their fingers at dumb investing going, you ludites, that was so crazy. <laughs> batteries are be. the best thing ever. Yeah, and right? I hope that's the case because personally I invest in a lot of that future tech. You know, I'm heavily invested in, as we've talked about. Oh, yeah, me too. And, uh, you know, so. But ha that having that model plaid or plaid plus, whatever, I mean, that yeah, crazy car plaid. just yeah. laughed at ferraris and lambos and stuff said oh yeah, yeah. gas powered silliness watch this yeah i mean that it's, car it's is so crazy amazing. what they can do <laughs> yeah i i i get it i don't know how it's gonna all work out but maybe it will because i think tesla is going to be part of the resurgence they're they're, they're going to be part of the solution no matter what and i'm kind of taking the stance whereas you know if you can't beat them join them kind of thing so as much as I don't think it's necessarily the right approach today. It's going to be the right approach in the future. So we'll invest in some of that technology and hopefully uh, make a couple bucks doing it. I think it's going to be real fun. Have you seen the video of the guy who must have rented a, a Tesla like on Turo and he pulls into a gas station and he's kind of walking around the car because it must have been low. So he's like, and he's walking around and he can't figure it out. So you see him get on his phone and he's looking and then he's like, oh, like, oh, I'm so dumb. It's just hilarious. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. No, I have not seen that. <laughs> yeah, because you well, can tell here, he, he's in trouble. Then. <laughs> here in Canada, I know one specific uh, gas station, uh, they put in po uh, electric power. So it, just like any gas station, you just pull your electric vehicle in and plug it in. Where you go. Yeah, but see, there's there's got to be more because what's it take? It takes an hour to get 60% or something right now? No, it's like when, okay, we're going to get a little bit technical here, but when Tesla rolls out with the 4680 cell battery, they're going to be able to go to, I think, 60% in 15 minutes, somewhere in that realm. So what are you going to do for 15 minutes? Well, see, this particular gas station has an A&W attached to it, which is, do you have oh. an A&W down there? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Flows. I thought A and W was Canadian. I don't know because they got poutine there too. Well, A and Ws are weird here. It's like they're them and like a fish joint are owned by the same people. So that you get like oh. a, I don't even remember what they are. But there's a lot of A and Ws and some fish joint combined. And yeah, it's weird. Oh, okay. all right. So on to stocks. Should we should we look, <laughs> review some stocks because we're getting way off track? Yeah, because we like to talk. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but we could do this all. <laughs> We, we could do this all night long. Like if you mindless. guys tell last night, I could have, I mean, I could have put Lloyd to bed last night for sure. It would have been awesome. All right. I'm sharing my screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're reviewing three of the stocks that we own currently. And we're trying to make a determination if these are things we want to hold long-term or if these are things we want to uh, scuttle and, and start over for fresh. So the first one we're looking at tonight oh. is P S E T. So PSET is who? Their um, principal yes. quality ETF. Oh, an ETF. So ETFs are generally pretty boring things. Uh, they're generally, you know, a long-term play. Um, oh, this is beautiful. This index uses a quantitative model designed to identify equity securities quantum. of mid to large capitalization companies in the NASDAQ US large mid cap index. So yeah, so how are they doing at this? They What's have gone 
straight up since the beginning of the pandemic? I would say for us, we probably bought this somewhere around April. So we're in it probably around 5150 or so. And we're no, you're way off. 5095. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was off by 50 cents. Yeah. You're good. So this looks pretty good. I would say, you know, this is going in the right direction. I don't see anything that causes any concern. The expense ratio is very low. Uh, the, yeah. the return is, is good. So I would say this one probably we, we're fine sitting on it. Yeah. So overall with PSET, we are at it's So it's our third uh, highest gainer. Oh, okay. We are up overall 4.65%. All right. So that so let's all right, two dumbs, we're gonna keep it. It's safe, it's boring, but it, it's two dumbs up. Two dumbs up. All right, next one we're looking at is knife. Oh yeah, this is the one that we wanted to talk about, right? The falling the knife. Direxian falling knives ETF. All right. So falling knives. When did this we This has get something into to do with knives? like the economy collapsing, doesn't it? I don't know. Let's go read it again. I can't remember. Okay. I remember when we read it, we thought it was crazy. Uh, the investment seeks investment results before fees expenses that tracks the index U.S. Fallen Knives Index. Okay. The fund under normal circumstances invests blah, 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 index designed by index consists of U.S. equity securities that have experienced considerable share price declines over the prior year and have financial health suggesting that the security has potential for share price recovery. Okay, so these guys go and they find the fallen knives and they try to pick them up. They and so they're like, the hey, guys. these, well, they kind of do what you and I do, right? Like with Hangling, here's a stock that dropped. It's got good financials. Maybe it shouldn't be down this low. Let's jump in and find out. So they're a lot like we are. Okay, so they're dumb. We should dump them. They are dumb. We should dump them. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have our stats? Do you know yeah. what we're in? Uh, it is our uh, are we in around? seventh highest gainer. Okay. We are up 2.91% since we purchased it. Okay. I mean, you look at the six-month track. Let's see. In the last five years. Oh, well, hell, dude. They they did great and they leveled off probably uh -huh. because there were so many falling knives during that time period. I mean, a <laughs> lot, lot of choices. I say we, we stick with them for a while. Okay. I mean, they're they're not costing us money, right? It's, right? it's not sexy. It's not fun. It's not something that's going up and down, you know, 10 and 20% and, you know, charts are over. But I would say that probably Any let's stick with them for a while. Anything? Nothing. Um, no, they 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 don't look like they pay dividends. Okay. okay. But their returns, I mean, it's not bad so far. So we'll 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 keep that one around for a little bit. And we'll see what happens. All right, CSWI is our last of the ones we've chosen, and this is um, CSW Industrials. So I think when we had originally jumped into this thing, we thought, oh, Industrials is a recovery play. And that has gone right in the old uh, crapper, huh? So I'm assuming we're probably right around. The, does it show what we bought, bought in it? I um, bet it's right around this peak. Uh, let me flip over the screen here. Because if you look at that time, that if that if we saw that chart going up to April, we bought it right around the peak. It had to be within a couple of bucks at the peak. Um. Yes, four dollars <laughs> of the peak. So the peak was about one forty one. So we're in it one thirty seven. We're in it at one thirty nine eighty two. One thirty nine. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's that's a hard. So, so this is going to happen in, in life. In life, you're going to see a chart that is looking good. Things are coming up. And, you know, something happens. Shit hits the fan. I mean, those things happen. Now, it has taken them April, May, June, July. So it's taken them two and a half months to lose all that money. But it looks like they actually hit a bottom 
here around mid June, and they might be working their way back up. Now, is that ramp working their way back up? Is that another four months until we are at zero? Do we want to sit around for that? Do we have faith that these guys are going to do it? They do say they're paying a dividend of 60 cents. I mean, we only own one share of these, right? Right. Yeah. So, I mean, we get 60 cents April, May, June, July, in Ooh. August sometime. Better than one penny. Right. Uh, I, I tend to agree that I th- – ah, oh, jeez. I, I don't know. I – I'm concerned about industrials. There's there's a big job report coming out tomorrow. Yeah. That's basically going to tell the stock market if we're good to go or we're going to zero kind of thing. So I don't want to so sell this today. The ADP was positive. It was positive 645,000, so... I would assume, you know, that's kind of in line with what everybody was hoping was going to happen. Yeah. And if it's in line, I think if everything is kosher and in line, then industrials and tech could probably move up. Um, Industrials slower and tech faster, but I think industrials, listen, I don't want to sit on this stock forever, but I don't think now is the time to sell it. I'm cool with that. that. Makes any sense? No, because I think we're so close to the bottom. Yeah, of, you know what we can see. I, I, think I say we're, we we're give starting them starting to rotate back up. Yeah, let's give them three more months and see what happens. Okay. All right. So CSWI, you're on our radar, man. We're gonna watch you. I like think this one. Will, I think this one will come back. So yeah, so that was fun. Okay, cool. Um, anything else about stocks that we need to talk about? Any? Oh, I didn't get to see it, but let me look. There was an IPO today, a real fun one. Do you know? <laughs> Krispy. Krispy Kremes. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's see here. I, I heard some headlines that the, uh, the sugar was sweet for Krispy Kreme. Oh, really? Yeah. They must have had a pretty good day. So they were trying to determine, you know, Krispy Kreme used to be, I don't know where it was, whether it was New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ, but they used to be around. And then they, somebody took them private for a while. And so they are what? DN? Donuts, yeah. UT, right? DNUT? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So they they were thinking around seventeen bucks is what was going to happen. So let's see. Oh, twenty one bucks, twenty three percent today. Yeah, for them. people like them donuts. So I mean, we had a few kicking around our neck of the woods. Yeah, they just uh, they had a hard time competing against good old Tim Hortons. Yeah. Does Tim Horton still have good coffee? Uh, it's fine. Depends, I guess, on what you want. Do you go to Tim's for the coffee or do you go to Tim's for the donuts? You go to Tim's for the coffee. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And see, that that's the problem with Krispy Kreme is right. you go to the Krispy for the donuts. Yeah. And I think coffee is more... Um, Desirable, well, maybe. Well, caffeine is that a the drug, right word. Right? So, well, I'm pretty sure sugar is too. But good for them. Look at that. <laughs> let's let's see what happens in a week and see see what's going on. Yeah. I mean, that's great. Twenty three percent. They're up another one percent after hours. Yeah. Man, go- gobble up them donuts. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Usually, a, a lot of these IPOs when they go public, they all usually get crushed. I yeah. mean, the only ones I think that I've seen do well recently. On IPO day was like whatever Jessica Alba's um, clothing company was. Honest company. Honest company. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's tanked since. Oh, and has I, it? I think so. Because it was all over the news for like three weeks. Oh yeah. People yeah. couldn't get enough of it. Yeah. No. I. I let's let's take a look at the honest company. 
The Honest Company. Because this is fun. This is what we like to do. Yeah. So <laughs> they opened up at um, 23.88. They are down to the closest mm. day at 14.93. Ooh. Yikes. Yeah. Yep. So. So I wonder if there's some, been, some guy sitting around going, let's give them three more months and see where this goes. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Only bought it right at the peak. Oh, that is classic. Yeah. Um, all right. Quick real estate update. Uh, I went and looked at three houses today. Uh, what my realtor did is she started doing a bunch of research on houses that came back on the market. So the okay. she believes, you know, sellers may be in a little bit of distress because the house was sold and had to come back on the market because of something. She said that there were um, some people financing has tightened up and yeah. apparently it's pushing people who were approved out of their approvals. Uh, people Is there people got, doing flips on them too? Is there a lot of that going on? That I don't know, but she was talking about that, you know, people who qualified at like 2.7 and didn't lock in their rates are now showing up in their three ones, three twos, and Oof. they're not qualifying. Uh -huh. So, yeah. So I don't know. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm not reading a lot into that, but tonight we found a great one. Uh, this house has, a, it's four years old, so it's right in my, my happy zone. It's in my neighborhood, so it's not far away. I mean, my neighborhood's, you know, 9,000 houses, but <laughs> it's like driving across a normal city. city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it is in my neighborhood. You know? <laughs> Maybe half and, of my city. So, yeah, so we're a little bit excited about that one. It's, it's in fairly good shape for being four years old. I mean, a lot of cleaning to do. It's amazing that, how that's what you really dirty want, the house right? gets. You want to find those deals where people are motivated to sell and it just takes just a little bit of either elbow grease or a little bit of work here and there. Yeah. And they're undervalued because people don't want to put in the effort. And it's weird. The house is empty except for the garage. Oh, all their the stuff, everything. What? The garage is full. So they're just using that as storage. I, yeah, it's very strange, but like, you know, huh. there's, there's no beds in the garage, no beds in the house. So the, there's somewhere else, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff in the garage. Right. So it's kind of, I don't know if they're, you know, they're transitioning to another house and they thought this one was already sold. I mean, it's kind of, so yeah, so we're excited about that. We looked at backup plan number one, which smelled like old people. It was really weird. It, it was, <laughs> it was like 10 years old. Is that up? Uh huh. Yeah. It just smelled like old people. You know, it was really, you, you know how, when you walk into a house, you're just like oh, yeah, 85 years old. Yeah. Uh -huh. It was so weird. That was the very first house I bought. <laughs> I think mine was too. I bought yeah. it from somebody that was like 77 years old. Yeah. 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 The very first house I bought, they had a spoon collection. Sweet. Yeah. So you can just imagine how old they were. Yeah. Who, who has a spoon collection? Well, dude, what about like antiques? I mean, remember when those Bones. were all You don't remember those because you're so young. <laughs> but when I was a child going with my grandparents to auctions and buying antiques was a thing. Uh-huh. And people would lose their mind for a 15th century King Charles, whatever the hell right. table. There's not yeah. going to be any, you know, in the next 50 years, there's not going to be anything called an antique anymore. No. There's going to be millions of dollars just thrown in the trash. But, you know, we are going to – okay, so funny story locally here. A uh, bunch of boxes were donated to a Goodwill. Dude is a young guy going through, and he's like, hey, look, an old Atari 2100. I've never uh -huh. seen a game like this before. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, there's a game that there were only 14 in existence, and they put it up on eBay and got 10000 bucks for it. Crazy. How cool is that? And that That's happened great. right here. I mean, I know. Yeah. For people to find that kind of stuff. But yeah. I thought it was pretty funny. So our antiques are going to be like, oh, dude, an original Xbox. Da -da -da, the controller still works, right? The X button's not wore out. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> right. 
I mean, I have the original iPad and I have no intention of of selling it or giving it away or anything. Does it still work? Heck, well, I mean, I was about to say heck yeah, but I mean, yeah, it turns on. Can you do anything with it? No. Well, I have my original iPhone that I still use. It sits on my nightstand and it's my my jukebox on my nightstand. And right. then I grab it every time I mow, and it's my iPod when I go mowing. <laughs> Perfect. And, and it's like, what now, almost 20 years old? And no. it works like a charm. <laughs> it's not that old. Well, I it's mean, old. It I, it's old, dude. Like it. It's, it, you're not, actually, you're not that far off. When was it? Uh, um, it's it's got to be 15 years old. Yeah. 2008? Maybe. But yeah, it's pretty, nothing else works on it. But the iPod section is awesome. And the battery, dude, the battery lasts for weeks when it's just running the iPod. It's awesome. Dude, we missed it. We missed the iPhone anniversary. I didn't even know there was such a thing. <laughs> June 29th. Were we 2000- supposed to have cake? Oh, yeah. Don't you own Apple stock? I do not. Oh. No, I got out of Apple about two years ago. <laughs> Not bad timing. No. Uh, 2007. No, it was good timing. <laughs> 2007 was the original iPhone. June 29th, okay. 2007. Well, that means I probably bought it 2008 or 9. This one, I got it. So, yeah. All right. Bullfrog Sanctuary is <laughs> rocking on. Uh, my contractor is showing up tomorrow to rebuild the guest bath that I told you I had the plumbing problem. Mm. So yeah. So we got our tile. We got our fixtures. He had the cement board delivered today. It's so yeah. Board. yeah. I guess that, you know, cement board, it didn't have it had something else and he didn't like it. So yeah, he's tearing shit up tomorrow. Fantastic. Sounds like a ton of fun. We yeah. did nothing today. It was a holiday. So we just. You didn't go up. vacuum the new carpet? Nope. Didn't even oh, do that. Man. Might do it. Nah, we won't even do it tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. So what's the next steps? Is it like ready for rent now or does it still Paint. have a couple of... We're painting. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. When does yeah, that occur? So, uh, well, I woke up to an email from the painter today and because I emailed him last night and I said, hey, it's ready to go. And he responded with, oh, I Dude, wish I had hot. more warning. It's like we emailed you a week ago saying that it was going to be ready July 7th at the latest, you know, kind of get ready. What do you need from us? And I mean, I just, if you want to go July 7th, that's totally fine. But just tell us. Is this the same guy that that did the the basement? No, this is a different guy. Oh, we're already rotating through subs. All right. Well, the thing is, is you don't know. (laughs) You got. You, you can't just rely on the same people all the time. You also, you got to feel out what everybody's capable of doing. Okay. And you have to grow your portfolio and your relationships. Okay. You got to have multiple people in your team, right? I love it. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. And yeah. So hopefully he responds in the next day or so and says he'll be there next week, hopefully, and get everything done. Cool. Hopefully. We'll see. So we'll have a segment on here about um, backyard landscaping since the pool guy has said he's done, he's out. So I've got the Dust Bowl 2021 sitting out there. So we'll that'll be fun. Once the pool is operational, then we'll start documenting what to do with a backyard that's thrashed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So we'll, we'll do a walk around. Maybe you guys can give me some ideas and right. see where we'll I mean, take this thing. We went through that and sod was number one idea. But we we don't, don't do, do that. No, not with my my grass. Isn't if we do it, you have to do the plugs. Yeah, that's crazy. Which I don't know if my back is ready for plugs. Because you buy them like, hey, do you need five hundred or a thousand or two thousand or five thousand? Right. And you're just like, dude, there's no <laughs> way I'll ever plant five thousand plugs. That's just <laughs> not going to happen. There's got to be a machine for that. 
Oh, I'm sure there probably is for, you know, like golf courses and municipalities and stuff. My machine's right here. <laughs> <laughs> nope. nope. I can do sod. I can roll out sod. That's fine. But they 5,000 plugs? Heck no. Okay, listen to this. They actually have a tool that you put on your drill. And, you wa- and you're supposed to put a plug like every three inches, yeah. right? So you go, woo, woo, woo. you know, you, you drill all your holes. And then you come back and you put your plug in and you cover, plug, cover, plug, cover. But I'm not doing that a thousand times. I just, I know, I know how I am mentally. And at about number 250, I would yeah. be like, <clears throat> like Monopoly yeah. back in the day, right? Pieces totally. everywhere. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there would be all kinds of swear words coming out. I, I, I feel you. I hear you. Yeah. All right. Well, we've wasted uh, 37 minutes of, of people's time. So is there anything else we need to talk about? I don't feel like we waste people's time. Well, not waste, but we definitely consume their time. <laughs> We're here to provide value. Uh, no, but I don't think not- there's anything else financial guidance or anything like oh, no, no, because no, we are not right. professionals at all this mm-hmm. is for entertainment purposes only yeah don't do lawyer says do. don't that's do what stupid do. i mean that's dumb that's the whole yeah, point that is dumb <laughs> that's why we named the channel as such you know. because the last uh, thing yeah, we won't want to do is get drug into court and they say well i listen to these guys they dumb investing and i lost all my money and the judge is gonna be like well their name is dumb investing why'd you listen to them <laughs> yeah <laughs> What's uh, Kevin say? Don't sue me, bro. It's your fault you, if you lose money. <laughs> Don't sue problem. me, bro. <laughs> so yeah. we're not going to be back until Tuesday, right? We will not be back until Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. So well, we'll have plenty to talk about, I think, because uh, yeah, tomorrow's job report is going to be interesting, and then obviously yep. your market's closed on Monday. So yes, there's be a lot of let's let's just go with there's going to be a lot of pent up demand on Tuesday that's going to send tech through the. To the moon. To the moon. To the moon. All right, everyone. Have a great night. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, bells, all that stuff. Follow us on whatever social media platform fits your fancy. And tell all your friends. Yeah, because when we get to 100 live viewers, we have a Oh, we didn't very... even talk about that. No, we're not. We'll we talk about it next 100. week. No, yeah. we're not doing it until we get to like 99. No, we got to tell people why to tell all their friends. Oh, no, let's leave him hanging. we got to sell this thing. This is going to be a lot of fun, though. I know that. Everybody bring a friend next week. Uh-huh. Bring two, <laughs> bring three, bring, bring seven. If you know 20 people, get everybody watching. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have it a will lot be, of It fun will be game. a lot of fun. Yeah. It's going to be crazy. And we'll it's we'll be leave great. it with one word. Interactive. Ooh. Oh. Have yeah. a great night. <laughs> Good night. Don't trade like that guy. <laughs> <laughs>